Hey, what's going on guys? So Fulham are on the verge of announcing the signing of Kevin and Babu from Wolfsburg. The two clubs have agreed upon a rather specific fee of 4.7 million pounds with a potential further 1.7 million in add-ons for the Switzerland international. And Babu will travel straight to Portugal in order to link up with his new teammates on their pre-season tour. It is believed Fulham were initially looking to bring back Neko Williams on a permanent basis from Liverpool, but deemed this 17 million quid price tag to be prohibitive, which is when they turned their attention towards Mbabu. While not quite as young or talented as the Welshman, Mbabu has bags of experience under his belt with 200 senior career appearances across all competitions, including in elite tournaments like the Champions League and Euros. At 27 years old, he's just about entering the prime of his career and will provide stiff competition to Dutch international Kenny Tete, who found himself on the bench for the latter part of last season. An underrated aspect of this signing is the fact that Mbabu qualifies as a homegrown player, having previously featured in the Premier League for Newcastle United, a club he joined as a 17-year-old from Swiss Super League side Servette, but couldn't quite establish himself at. This had a major impact on Mbabu's approach towards the sport. In fact, he's publicly stated that Everything I do is to prove to Newcastle that they were wrong to let me go. So those at Craven Cottage can expect to see plenty of drive and determination, especially when he comes up against the Geordies. Moving on to his style of play. Mbabu is primarily a right back but is capable of playing on the opposite flank, at centre half or even further up the pitch as a winger if necessary. His attacking prowess and willingness to maraud down the line has made him hot property amongst coaches in Europe and is the reason why he's been on Fulham's radar for the last half a dozen years with the Cottagers having had a bid rejected for him as far back as four years ago. His pace, power and athleticism make him stand out from his peers and even earned him praise from Eden Hazard during his top flight debut versus Chelsea in the 2015-16 season. He's someone who you'll find is extremely active out of possession, which, when coupled with his reading of the game, sees him make a high volume of ball recoveries and interceptions. He's always looking to play on the front foot and will press the life out of opponents off the ball. The guy is also a dribbling machine, with his take-ons per 90 minutes in the top 5% for all fullbacks across Europe's top 5 leagues. At 6 feet tall, he's a physical match for most forwards too and won't be bullied in the air whatsoever. Needless to say, however, he's got certain limitations which stop him from being amongst the very best. He can find himself out of position after bursting forward, which leaves acres of space for opposition wingers to hit his side on the break. Furthermore, the most league appearances he's made during his three years at Wolfsburg stands at 24, which quite frankly isn't good enough for a 36-game league in Germany, let alone a 38-game one in England. Lastly, his end product in the final third leaves a lot to be desired and is something he'll have to work upon given the reliance on modern-day fullbacks for assists. Many label him as the Swiss Aaron Wan Bissaka, which honestly isn't a million miles away from the truth. Overall, this is a solid but unspectacular signing and one that a newly promoted side could do with while fighting against relegation. Mbabu is very reliable defensively and has been part of sides that have conceded very few goals, which historically speaking hasn't been the case with Fulham in the Premier League in recent years. For those of you new to my channel, I've done a breakdown on both Juan Paulinha, which you can access via the top right hand corner of your screen, and Andreas Pereira, which is available through my channel pages, and we'll be doing one from Manor Solomon as well as any other incomings at Fulham, so do stay tuned for that. Cheers for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video please do consider giving it a like, and subscribe for more football related content. As always, I'm happy to answer any questions you may have in mind, and hope you've had a great weekend thus far. Peace.